This episode of Taproom Travelers is brought to you by Pep's Draft House Pizza. My name is John Click, president of Excelsior Brewing Company. Beer has always been a beverage of choice of mine ever since I was legal. Back in the late 80s, early 90s, I really fell in love with Summit. So I guess that would be my first love with a craft beer. When it became a passion for a business for me though, I'd say almost 10 years ago that I started the, 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 the twinkle in my eye to start a brewery. Niles Lewin, I'm the head brewer at Excelsior Brewing Company. I fell in love with beer when I lived out in Steamboat Springs, Colorado. I spent four years out there. That was right at about the time when New Belgium and Left Hand and Odell and all these breweries were starting to really catch steam. And when I came back, it continued. I mean, with Summit and Surly coming out. And so really from that point, early 2000s is kind of when I fell in love with it. Our community is pretty amazing. It's a pretty small town. I couldn't ask for a better location. Excelsior, the town of Excelsior, is phenomenal. It's just a fun town. It's a town that thrives on its history. It's a beautiful little town with cute stores, and then it all finishes up down on the lake. The building that we're standing in during our business planning, a four rent sign went up on it, so we jumped on it. The original building was built in 1921. It was a Ford dealership. Our brew house is in the car wash which is interesting. The tap room is now in the showrooms. When we started this business, we started in the, the back third. If you'd ever been here before we expanded, it was like drinking in the garage because you had a service door entrance, we put the garage door up, so everybody loved it. So when we took over the rest of the building, instead of having metal girders and a real rough look, as we stripped down ceilings and walls, we had really nice wood timber beams and beautiful brick walls. and. We uh, tried to transfer that feel by doing the same thing when we were back in the original space, but we hung all of our surfboards and bikes from the ceilings like you do in your garage. Just by hanging some bikes on the ceiling and some surfboards around the room, we got a cool vibe. <laughs> it is the people though too, I'll be honest with you, our bartenders are second to none. As a brewer, I try to be really traditional. For me, when I design beer, I never reference recipes. I'll never look at the internet and reference a recipe on a style. I always start off with the BJCP website and I'll read about the style and really try to build that beer off of that. And historic beers, I really try to dig into the history of the beer too. I really wanna, that's just my passion. I like to keep beer true to style. We really try to do all we can and it even comes down to water chemistry. We run reverse osmosis water 100% on all of our brew water, but with reverse osmosis it's easy for me to build up the chemistry if I want to. Our four flagship beers, our number one sellers are Big Island Blonde, uh, a nice malty biscuity blonde with a little bit of a hop bite on the back side. Really fun beer to make. Yeah, sometimes the brewers are just like, can we brew anything else? <laughs> But, you know, with that being said, that's the beauty of our pilot system. I get to let the brewers get creative. The goal is to let the brewers get ex as experimental as they want on a smaller brew system so that if, if it didn't turn out to what they wanted, we don't, you know, we're going to drink it. No bad beers coming out of it, but it might not be a home run. If, and if it isn't, it's only six kegs. So no, there's no bad beer, but as long as it's clean beer. We're always making blonde, and then we're kind of filling in with our other three flagships. Our Bitter Schlappa Brown Ale, it's a German brown. We use Munich malts, Vienna malts, and then some noble hops. Excelsior American Pale Ale, spelled XLCR, but it's pronounced Excelsior. If you just say that real fast, it's Excelsior. Just a real solid spot on uh, American Pale, which brings us into our Bridge Jumper IPA, which our IPA is a, a little bit more of a malt forward IPA, so it's sweeter but it does have a nice, great hop backbone. We do dry hop that with Chinook hops, so it gets a nice fruitiness to it, nice mango, passion fruit notes to it. Yeah, so we do three major seasonals, main seasonals that we'll actually package. One of our best-selling beers is the, the Sunburn, a Hefeweizen that we brewed, 
and we didn't get the gravity that we wanted, so it was very light bodied. We had some of the banana clove from the yeast, obviously, but it was very light. But we decided at that point, let's spike it with some fruit. So that's kind of where the whole tart cherry came into sunburn. Later in the season, we come out with our Doctoberfest, which is a very traditional Martin. It's an Oktoberfest style beer. I mean, we call that Doctoberfest play on words because we're a lake inspired brewery. And then a little bit later, when we kind of carry this one a little bit longer, is our espresso milk stout. It's a chocolate coffee milk stout. That's a really fun recipe. It was one of my first professional recipes that I formulated. We use a local coffee roaster in town. They developed a blend with us for, our, for this beer. But in our tap room, we always have a variety of beer. Our slogan is choose your craft. Obviously, there's so many different craft beer styles, right? If you are using the lake, you can use other crafts as well, right? You can use your canoe, you can use your sailboat, you can use your power boat, and then choose your craft beer to go with it. We do believe they are harmonious and they work together, as long as you consume responsibly. So again, it all just comes back to those outdoor activities. All of, a lot of us, all of us as employees enjoy the outdoors in some way. This brewery really promotes outdoor lifestyle. So everything we do, we try to either incorporate with the lake life or Minnesota life and being outdoors. We host the Big Island and Back event two times a year. And the one that's coming up right now is on the soft water. You start in Excelsior and you paddle uh, around Big Island and you paddle back. It is a race. And there are people that are out there to win it, but for the most part, it's just a paddle. It's just get out there and get active and have a great day on the lake. And then we have a nice big party all day long. We have bands. Proceeds of the event will go to the Lake Minnetonka Association and also the ICA Food Shelf. So it's a great cause. Then uh, what's really cool about the event is that when the lake gets hard or freezes, we do the same type of thing, but on cross country skis. Same type of deal, third verse, same as the first. Go do your exercise, come back, thirsty, let's have a beer, put on some bands, raise some money for good causes. Our very next tent event is our Doctoberfest. It's our biggest event. We put on a three day event, tent party, live music. We get the mayor from Excelsior to come and tap the first keg of the day. And German beer, German food, the Masons come out and do authentic German potato salad and they have brats made with our beer out of Mac and Tunes in St. Bonnie and they do an amazing job. And if you're around Excelsior, you should really come out here because it is truly a blast. We have German music, we have Lederhosen's, we got a variety of German beer, we got German food and it's a blast. Really, that's the point is we want to be promoting outdoors. That's what all of us enjoy doing and and that's what we're all about, yeah. Well, you know what, guys, it's been awesome, and I just want to say thank you for coming out. Until then, everybody that's watching, come down to the brewery. I'm here all the time, it feels like. So if you see me in the back of the house, say hi, and let's enjoy a beer together. Our tap room's open Tuesday through Sundays. We'd love to have you catch some tunes. Choose your craft and uh, let's talk beer. Until then, prost. Based out of Green Bay, Wisconsin, and available in grocery stores across the Midwest, Pep's Draft House Pizzas combine newly handcrafted recipes, exceptional ingredients, and big taste. Each style of pizza is inspired by award winning breweries and restaurants from across the country. We recommend the taproom double with double the sausage and double the pepperoni. Find it in your local Woodman's, Festival Foods, Lunds and Byerly's, and plenty of other grocers near you. Pep's Draft House Pizza. Tap into that handmade, big flavor, and bigger topping pizza. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, you can click down below where there's some more episodes for you to watch. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on episodes that you do watch. We hope to see you next time.